12.30, I've napped hard. It is so sunny out, and I'm not gonna take you with me this time. I'm just gonna go out and enjoy the beach, which I'm allowed to do. So my first ever commercial audition I went on was for an underwater speaker. The audition was we had to take our shirts off and dance around and I got a call back and it was like such a boost to my ego. We had to go underwater and hold our breath and dance. There was a SAG actress in my group who said that we needed to be provided weighted belts to stay down. And the casting company was shady at best. So they just challenged her and they were like, well, we've had some pretty talented people. Like it's on us basically to be able to perform underwater with no oxygen in our lungs. And then when we got into the pool, they let us know that production couldn't afford to pay for the pool to be heated that day. When you get in, you lose your breath. You go into shock. And what they wanted to do was go down to the very bottom of a nine foot pool and dance as much as possible. I at the time, I was like, she's being a diva. And me, thinking that this is my big break, I'm gonna win. And finally, I was like, okay, I'm gonna black out. So I went to go up, and something felt like a rubber band in the back of my head snapped. Couldn't see anything. It was the most excruciating pain I've ever had in my life. It felt like I was holding my head together. Like, if I didn't push, then my head would come apart. I didn't tell anybody. I still wanted the part after these people had almost killed me. <laughs> so I just left quietly. I refused to even get on the train home. I'm not gonna die on the subway. I had a pounding headache for months. I used to do this as a kid all the time. I used to go underwater and see how many laps I could do. So I was like, yeah, I'm a pro at this, but that's why I don't mess around. I have pushed myself too far. There's my story, don't do it. long day of travel. I have a three hour flight, followed by a four hour wait, followed by a six hour bus ride. It's uh, I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> Yeah, sleeping on a bus. That's new, but not something that I ever want to be old. <laughs> We're in Munich. I didn't film anything in Prague because I'm going back there. And I was having an important meeting as the silhouette of Richie Tolway. Let's go get coffee. What's up guys, it's Sunday. I haven't filmed for uh, two days. 
done nothing but lay around with a, uh, a French Bulldog. We're gonna go into uh, to Munich today, and check out a little bit of Oktoberfest. I didn't wanna go in on Saturday either, because it's insane. Uh, we're gonna get some pizza, some friends I met at the uh, Hangover Hostel. Do Munich in one day, Oktoberfest in one day, pizza in one day, and, uh, and then we're gonna get the hell out of here and go back to Prague. Some exciting news coming up for you guys uh, in the next couple days, if it all comes to fruition, so peace. Look at that face of yours. <gasps> oh, you are close. You don't want it enough. Yeah, he's just tired and fat. Come on, pig. couldn't take a shower, so we had to go to this hotel instead. Much better. Morgan probably thinks I'm insane. And then we switched rooms again. <laughs> in the we're hotel. gonna switch rooms every day. Yeah, time. well, once we find out we don't have Wi-Fi in this room, we're gonna switch from this room, too. There might be a leak also. There's also a leak. Definitely heading to switch rooms. <laughs> All right, let's go to Ice Pub. That used to be a castle, and it was a moat, and they, and they filled in the moat. Two years younger than the real Eiffel Tower. So essentially what's happening is Morgan went on a three hour walking tour. Would you say 3% of the information? 10. 10. And now she's giving me the 10% walking tour, which mostly involves- <laughs> Yeah, which is mostly wrong. Non-facts and opinions such as this building is cool. Not the Charles Bridge. <laughs> yeah, that was not the oldest bridge ever, nor was it even the Charles Bridge. I got loud. And she got left at because she screamed, is this Charles Bridge at a human? Back to the castle. We're in the ice pub. Ice pub is negative eight degrees and it's so fucking cold in here. And it's so stupid because it, like when you buy a ticket, you get a free drink and I don't even drink, so I'm drinking a slushy. It's so fucking, it's so dumb. And they give you the, the thermal, they give you this thermal blank. It doesn't work, nothing works. It doesn't matter, it's too cold. And you're in for 15 minutes and I'm not, 
I'm not dressed for this. I'm not, I'm not ready for this. I don't want it. But everything's ice. What if I started punching? Ah! <laughs> That's how strong I am. You see that? I chipped ice with my knuckle through a glove. I actually think I just broke my hand, but 